The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Everybody and welcome to the Happiness Jungle TV show with yours truly, your Chief Happiness Officer, Lindy Eldridge. And today we have a blessing. We have a blessing coming all the way from Greenboro, North Carolina. I met this woman uh, several, several months ago, and I got to tell you, she's changed my life because of her, just because she just wants to help everybody, watching her accomplish so many great things. She has taught me how to stop being a procrastinator and to be an anticipator, to be able to be a mover and a shaker, and to be able to really live out your dreams. Her story, when we sat down and we spoke, brought tears to my eyes. And today, when it brings tears to my eyes, it brings me tears of joy because of all the accomplishments that Octavia Harris has accomplished. So I want to introduce you to my friend, my sister from North Carolina, Octavia. Hello, Octavia. Hello, dear. How are you doing today? Oh, my goodness. I am blessed and I'm favored, and you soften me. Oh, I am pleased to hear that. It is so wonderful to be here today. I've been excited all day about this, so I'm so excited to be here today. <laughs> I've been so excited. Oh, my goodness. Well, I have been excited as well. You know, the night before I get ready for my TV shows, I think about my guests and you. You just bring like goosebumps all over my body because of everything that you've been through and that you've kicked to the curb so you could accomplish the greatness. Exactly. And this show is all about you. It's all about your story and how it's going to touch and affect one, two, three, a thousand people, whoever it is that is supposed to be the student right now because you are the teacher. And when the teacher appears and the student is ready, magic happens. So thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Happiness Jungle world and a part of my life and making such a big difference. Thank you. I appreciate you having me here. Thank you so much. You know, so when I ask my, my, uh, my guest, my featured delicious guest, I want you to title our show. And you titled it Procrastinator to Anticipator. Can you share what that title means so others could resonate with it? Absolutely. Um, I come from a background where I grew up abused, not intentionally, but because my mother was 14 when she had me. And if she knew better, she would have been better. So a lot of things she didn't know. So in an effort to try to help me, she would push me, but with negative words. So as years went on, those negative words started to play in my head and they kind of became my labels. They stopped me from doing things I wanted to do. I had so much fear behind the labels that she labeled me, uh, not smart, stupid, just going to be like my father who was incarcerated. And I started to resonate and just label myself these things. And so after a while, I realized that me and half of my siblings, we were procrastinators and we were always saying we're going to do so many things, but didn't do them. And so I started to redefine who I was, make new labels for myself. And instead of putting things off out of fear, which sometimes I didn't realize was fear, I started figuring out a game plan, making choices, making changes, making a schedule. And I don't have to label myself as a procrastinator anymore. I take breaks. I give myself time, but I'm an anticipator. I have a schedule. I have everything has a place and everything has a place for it in my life and my schedule. The I think I schedule almost 98% of my entire life and it allows me a freedom to live a life I've always wanted to live. 
And so that's what this is about, to stop letting your mind stop you from the things that you really, really want to do. And that's what this is all about for me. Wow. I love it. And now you're an author. I am. I am. (laughs) I am. We are celebrating. I feel like I'm celebrating you every day with new accomplishments. And it is because I spent, and I always like to tell people this, the last seven months of my life has been behind my computer. I have been writing, learning. I have read 61 books in the last. Now, I'm not saying physically read. Keep that in mind. I do have something called Blinkist, and I also use Audible, so it allows me to listen to books as I'm, you know, doing something else and working out. What was the platform that you said? Blinkist. I've never heard that before it's amazing it is a digital platform that you can put on anything that you have and it takes a book and breaks it into eight chapters where you can visually read them eight to twelve chapters you can visually read them or it'll read it to you so imagine be able to read an entire book and all the good stuff in one hour and then to make sure that I'm really doing it, I always have a pen and paper. So as they're talking to me, I am an active learner and I, in order to learn, you must write. And so I then take notes on every book that I read. So I have like a notebook. It's like this thick, I'm almost finished it, of all the notes from all the 61 books I've read. Wow. And yeah. I got to ask you something. There are a mm-hmm. lot of people, me included, dyslexic. <laughs> Would That's you rec- like you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Would you recommend these platforms? Absolutely. Yeah. Because what happens is that Blinkist especially, it reads it to me while the words are on the screen. Mm-hmm. So in an essence, it kind of allows me to still stay on the page with it and then soak it up both visually and mentally. And that's good for people who are dyslexic, who have a hard time with words jumping around. Letters move for me a lot. And I never even know until someone says, uh, that's not the right word. <laughs> Oh, whoops, <laughs> you know, and I'm so self-conscious about it that I literally have like notes here. I have a projector here just because I want to make sure that I don't allow that one thing to stop me. So you found the yeah. solution. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you did because you are solution driven. I am. Yes, I am. Are. Yes, you are. My goodness, you're delicious. So will your books also be on those platforms? <sighs> So my goal is I have one book on Amazon and two books that are digital eBooks. So over the next 30 days, I'm going to transition those digital eBooks into Amazon, but my clients needed them now and I needed them to be in a good place for the first 90 days of the year. And I didn't want to have Amazon stop me with their process from getting my clients what they needed. So I decided to self-publish so that I could give them what they needed first and worry about, you know, Amazon and getting sales and things like that second. So it was more important to get them on the right track for the new year. Good for you. Wow. Yeah. Don't you let Amazon stop you. Are they crazy? No, no, girl. No, <laughs> that just isn't happening. And you talk about your clients. What's an ideal client for you? Oh, an ideal client for me is somebody who already knows they want to make a change. I'm not here to tell you you need to make a change. I'm not here to tell you anything, actually. I'm here for some people to tell me what they want to devise a plan and then I strategically make sure that they implement that plan. That means I'm on their butts. That means that at seven o'clock in the morning, they may get a call from me that says, give me 15 minutes of what you've learned in the last 24 hours and present it in the form of a 15 minute speech. Go. Nice. And I'll wait (laughs) because I need them to be ready all the time because I have to be ready all the time. And, um, So my clients are mothers, CEOs, um, women who want to move into management or or who are in management and really actually want to be heard, not just be a pretty face or, you know, have men who sometimes put us in a different category. And I'm not saying all men do that by any means. I'm simply saying that sometimes we have to push our presence in order to be heard. And as goddesses in this world, we've got to push that out sometimes sometimes in a way that a man can 
actually hear us. So it's important to be able to communicate with a man in the right way to not down him so that he can feel like when he connects to you and makes um, a project with you that it's going to be great. And it has nothing to do with you being a woman, but simply because he's believing in what you uh, present him. And so I teach women how to make sure to present appropriately so that we can be strong in everyone's eyes. Wow. And now you can help people all over the world. Is that correct? Because of the social media, uh, the way social media is now. If, if a client wanted you and let's say they, um, they live in, in Europe, mm -hmm. you could help them. Yes, absolutely. Two of my best clients actually live in India. I have one that lives in the UK, one in California. Uh, one of my best clients, she lives in Europe, not in Europe, in um, Canada. Uh -huh. And she is amazing. And every one of those ladies are completely different from me, culturally we're different. We look different. We sound different, but we all have the same problems, all of us. Yep. And so it's beautiful to be able to, no matter where you are, what you're doing, if you reach out to me, we will make time. Different time zones, doesn't matter. I've got that under control as well. So yeah. Yes, you do. My goodness. You know, I remember when we met, we met back in July of 2017. That's when you and I met. And as soon as I met you, as soon as I saw you, it was way across the room. And I said, my God, that woman is powerful. She's got a story. And then I heard you speaking on stage. And I'm like, I, I was on the edge of my seat. A matter of fact, right before you were getting up on stage, I had to go to the restroom and I couldn't, I couldn't go. I was like, cross my legs. I was holding tight and I was like, give it to me, girl, give it to me. And as soon as you got off the stage, I ran to the bathroom and, uh, but my God, you're, you're so effective. You're so contagious. Hmm. It's really because it's not me. It's honestly not me. I have tapped into my inner being, my inner power. It's one of the things before I started coaching businesses, I just coached individuals and I learned how to listen to myself, take care of that inner light that God gave you. I call that my goddess and take care of her indefinitely. And by doing that, then I'm blessed with the message and then I'm just the vessel. So how did you step out of your own way? Because mm. most people are, are standing in their own way where the door is right there. It's right there. Uh, How did you? Taking, mm, taking responsibility. Mm. At the end of the day, when you wake up in the morning and you make that list that says, these are the things that are not right about my life. So if you say my relationship isn't right, you have no business going to that person and saying, this is what you're doing that's hurting me because of feeling is simply a mental thought that you put energy to and you create that feeling, not that other person. So how dare you blame someone else for a feeling that you created? So every relationship is about taking responsibility. So I had to take responsibility for everything in my life that was bull. And I had to say, this is my part. This is what I need to change. This is what needs to be corrected. And then work on it daily. Not say I'm going to work on it. Then a week later, just like we get in a diet a week later, we're back to the same old. No, it's consistent. It's on my phone. When I open up my phone, the first thing that comes up is my to do list. All the things that matter to me, what's important to me, my why, my drive, my fuel. It's all there because I need all those things to make sure that every day I'm not going backwards. And when I take responsibility today for everything I'm involved in, I don't have to blame anyone else anymore. I can just move forward, right. teach people how to work with me, treat me. And the next thing you know, life feels so good. You're, you have to remind yourself not to be worried that everything is good. <laughs> and <laughs> you yeah, have to feel because, guilty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes people talk to me and they tell me about their woes and I'm like, my God, do I let them know how good my life is when, you know, in fact, I mean, behind closed doors, we all have our challenges, right? Yeah. But yet we've overcome them. We just don't take those outside with us. We focus on the positive of what we can do. And I think you and I are a lot alike. And I know we've had this discussion at the end of the day, we don't we're not depressed about what we haven't accomplished. We're celebrating what we did accomplish that day. And we know that tomorrow is another day. 
You know, you said that to me in a talk that we had on my steps one night in tears. I was because I kept not getting things done. And it was like, I wasn't getting them done. And then you said, you know, you just got to celebrate. And so at the bottom of my list every night, because of you, there's a little note there that always says, be happy and celebrate. And that's because of you. So now I'm not at the end of the day saying, okay, so I didn't get to do one, two, and three. Instead, I say, girl, you got seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11 done. And then be grateful and then hope that God blesses me the next day to try again. Yeah. That's it. And, and when you're, when, so you started doing that and mm. you started feeling better. Yes. And how did that also affect the vibration in your home? <laughs> this small little change that me criticizing myself at the end of the day left me not able to sleep sometimes. It, it, it ended up me listening and thinking about my to-do list and things like that. Waking up, not wanting to start because I'm irritated about the things I didn't do the day before. Then you procrastinate and put it all off. But instead, now that everything feels in sync, every evening when I'm finished, I can grab a book. I can watch 30 minutes of a show that doesn't give me any value, but just to relax and have no guilt. So then my partner doesn't have to worry about tension from me at the end of the night because I'm frustrated. Now it's three hours that we get to kind of laugh, joke, play, and do things that we always think about doing. And instead of me being in work mode, now I'm giving myself permission to say work is over. Now, this is you, this is your family, this is dinner time, this is family time, and it's become beautiful. And it's only been a few weeks, you know, and maybe two months ago we talked yeah. and I started implementing these new things because I was struggling and I was crying and struggling. And, and whenever you find yourself that emotional, fix it. You've got to find out why. Ask that one question, why, 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 until you get the answer and then find it. And then masterminding with like-minded people. Always. Because you have brought such great value into my life as well. And, and that's what mentors do is that we have mentors. You are one of my mentors. I gravitate towards you, your knowledge and your, your beauty inside and out. And I have, because I like stalk you on Facebook. <laughs> I love it. I stalk you too. I love it. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> and, uh, Watching you and your wife, you guys are both glowing together. I mean, it's beautiful. And I know that she also had health challenges. And that's yeah. when you were having your challenges. So everything combined, I could see the both of you becoming healthier, spiritually healthier. And because you are now developing into the speaker, author, and the channel that you're desiring, it's resonating. It's you could see it. You could feel it. And I love watching your videos. Oh, thank you. Completely different. Mm -hmm. In two months, there's been that transitional change. And it I see is. It. Yeah. And and it's so beautiful. Yeah. Little things. If you decide to stop letting those little things and stop jumping from one bad moment to the next, and then you wait on that next bad moment and instead jump on that bad wagon where this is great. Let's move to the next great thing and just be appreciative and have gratitude and also talk to people like you. People and then take and receive. Don't just talk to a mentor and then say, oh, that was great. Then move on. No, you got to write it down. You got to move forward. You've got to put action behind it. Put it in your repertoire. This is what I'm going to do. And then you'll see change. Yeah. Wow, that's very powerful. This is the year of the cookies in the happiness jungle. And yes. my signature this year is how to maintain a positive, uh, a positive posture. No, how to maintain your, a positive, productive posture while your cookies are crumbling. How to maintain a positive, a positive, I can't even say it anymore, a positive Posture. What did I just say? How to maintain a positive, a positive posture. posture 
Oh my God, I just got brain dead. See, you don't have to be smart to do what you want to do. <laughs> you just got to want to keep on doing it and accept sometimes that you make boo-boos, you know. But I'm very excited about this year, and you prove it so well of how to position yourself with a positive posture even when your cookies are crumbling. And that's because we stick around more positive, like-minded people instead of negative people that aren't getting anything done. Exactly. You know, exactly. That's exciting that is, to me. That's exactly it. Yeah. It really is. I've let go of anyone who or anything, not just anyone, anything right. that brings me down, that yeah. vi makes my vibration go low. And I can feel it. Now that I'm in tune with myself, yeah. I immediately know. And, you know, I redirect people first. I say, hey. I love you, but we're not going to talk like that because I'm in a different mind frame. Now, either we've got to change the subject and, and bring the volume up or I've got to disconnect for right now because I'm in a good place. And I love you, but I've got to go. But I've got to go. <laughs> got yes. To go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's it. You know, how to maintain a positive, productive posture while your cookies are crumbling and speaking yeah. to the right person and giving yourself permission to say, I've got to go. I gotta it's go. just not working. <laughs> it's not working. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow, you know, and eventually those negative people, they're like, how come she doesn't want to talk to me? And then when you answer them, because you're always negative, you're trying to drag me down with you. If that's where you choose to stay, then that's what you gave your permission for. But I'm giving my, my permission to love you, but I got to go. Got to go. Yes. Got to go. Yeah. And you can say it and give yourself permission to say that, to step away from relationships that don't benefit you and, and be humble and be appreciative and just be okay with it. That's it's right. okay. Yeah. Because God will replace those people. I had three people in my life before this journey in May, three people, and they didn't support me the way I felt like I needed, but they didn't know how to. And I didn't know how to teach them how to. But the Les Brown Institute taught me how to teach people how to treat me or for me to be able to step aside and allow other people to come into my life. Now I've got... <laughs> 386 people who I can call on anytime, right. any day. That's right. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. And congratulations for being a brand partner of Les Brown as well. We are sisters in the Les Brown Institute. And I yes, love sir. that. I love <sighs> that you and I have brothers and sisters collaboratively all over the world now of like-minded kinder spirits. And some have accomplished things that, that we have not accomplished. So we get to reach up as we are also reaching down <laughs> and helping those that want to be where we are. It is literally a pool of how can I help and how can we pay it forward? Exactly. What a platform. What a platform. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I feel them deeply. Yeah. I am, I can't express to you I what know. it's like to know three people who you can call and say, my goals this year are, I want to have a hundred thousand followers. I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. And I want to make a hundred thousand impressions on other people. How can I do that? And the, they don't say, what do you mean you want to make a hundred thousand dollars? No. Instead, they say, girl, let me tell you. That's right. And they pour into me. Yeah. And not only mm. do they pour into you, they invite you onto their platforms. Isn't that true? Yes. Yes. That. Look at you. Yes. Look at where I am today at this beautiful place. Uh, I would not have been able to have an interview. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. just to go and look for one I, is a lot. So to have this opportunity with you, it's the most Aww. beautiful blessing. I am very honored because you don't get this very often. You don't get people who want to share a stage with you because they're worried about competition. But in my mind, there is no competition. You and me are two different people. We have two different audiences. You want to know how I know? Because we had two different lives. So people are going to resonate with you and they're going to resonate with me based on what they connect to. And they can resonate with both of us and we can both get something wonderful from one person. So there's no competition. It's simply togetherness. And when you 
think about it like that. It's wonderful people like you who allow me to be on their platform. Oh. So that's beautiful. The blessing is all of mine. And when you help enough people get what they want in return, you will always have what you want. Absolutely. So for those, you know, in the audience today, I want you to realize that no matter what your dream is, you know, if you want to work for somebody in a corporation and get that higher platform, you could have that. If you want to be your own entrepreneur, your own independent contractor, you could have that. If you want to do whatever it is you want to do, if you want to lick a habit, if you want to lick an addiction, you can do it. You got it all. And you have so many mentors that could help you. And I have to share with you, I want you to reach out to Octavia because Octavia has been through hell and back. I mean, you talk about abuse. When you hear her story, grab her book, get on Amazon, do what you have to do to read her story because it will help you kick the negative out of your way and grab yeah. the positive to fuel you for what you want tomorrow. Octavio, I can't believe it. We're almost out of time. Please <laughs> share with our audience how do they get a hold of you? How do they get a hold of your book? How do oh, they right. stay attached and attracted to you? How can they have you as a mentor? No. Well, thank you. Well, the easiest way is uh, over the past eight years, I have a company and it's called Crave Life without an E. It's C-R-A-V-L-I-F-E. If you type that on any social media, that's Crave Life, C-R-A-V-L-I-F-E, on any social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere you are, I am. And all you just have to do is click that link and just connect to me. Let me know what you have going on. Let me know if there's anything I can do. And if nothing else, just come to one of my amazing groups where you can be yourself, share your weaknesses, and allow us to pour strength into you. So just connect with me. You can always also type in my name, Octavia Harris. If you type it all one word, you'll see me as well. I'll come up. I'm on hashtag. So anytime you see that, you can just click it and you can get connected to me anywhere, anyway. So that even YouTube. So yes. Mm -hmm. And I know that we're going to be sharing a stage. There's no doubt in my mind, you and I and a few others are going to be putting together an event. And if you stick and stay with the Happiness Jungle and Octavia, you will have yes. no choice to be notified and recognized of where we're going to be live and on social media. So with that, everybody, we never said that life was easy, but we did say you can be happier. And we are closing off today with prayers and humble being that you can have and achieve everything you want. Octavia, I love you, girlfriend. Thank you so you. much, sister. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so much. You're very wow. welcome. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. I hope we can do this again. Oh, we're going to do and it again. Now I'm going to interview you as well, so I can't wait to get you on my show. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to help oh. you and your audience as well. Thank you, Octavia. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Blessings. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>